Hey guys, King Gath here with episode 19 of my Sim Settlements 2 and Chapter 2 Let's Play series. So if you are interested in the full-blown version of this, it is actually cut from my live stream, which would have been labeled as week 19 to go with episode 19. You can find a link to the full playlist with all the live streams below. But otherwise, guys, let's get into it. I love that we figured I figured out how to change the map markers. I've been so I've been. I wish I could do that dynamically. I think one of the coolest things would be like a feature to rename your settlements, and I think it could be done with that 4 se But I can't figure out any way to do it normally. But I did figure out how you can swap map markers. So what we did is we have like an invisible GNN HQ map marker, and it just hides the original one and replaces. It so then ours shows up. So I've been thinking about what we could do is we can't while we can't do unique named ones we could do kind of like the the conquest mod did where it has like a bunch of pre-configured names of map markers and then you can excuse me pick them pick from them i think that might be a, a fun feature being able to like name your settlements but unfortunately it has to be like a predetermined pool but i guess there's nothing that stops us from just creating like doing like they did with um codsworth being able to say your name just like have like a thousand different settlement names for you to choose from and then just letting people name their settlements from that pool that could be kind of fun there we go, supply agreements. So um, so supply agreements are the first time that the um, energy, the permanent energy use comes into play. So I think I was explaining last week, if we go into this mode and we see the full scope of the HUD and you see those all those numbers that are underneath the departments, the first one is like permanently, permanent energy use. So if we go to, to establish supply agreement and we're gonna set one up with sunshine, this basically puts a permanent like tax on logistics energy, like they permanently have something to manage. Forget about cleaning up. With supply caravans coming and going, we need more people on security. Everyone needs more people, but we ain't got enough to go around. Maybe we need to reassign some personnel, move around what we already have. That would still leave some departments shorthanded. Oh, hey, welcome back. What's going on here? Seems we've not got enough people to cover each department's needs. So everyone's fighting again. You've got my attention. Let's hear this idea. It's a solution similar to our supply shortage problem. I don't know how any of these people take my character seriously with that stupid helmet and sunglasses on indoors. I can't imagine many, if any, would turn us down. Huh. That's a good idea. After all, we got plenty of talented folks living in our settlements. But if we did start bringing in more people, we'd need someone to take charge of them all. Otherwise, it would just be chaos. Ugh, fine. If it stops you knuckleheads from bickering, I'll do it. I'll take charge of personnel. It's a very big responsibility. Yeah, I know that. But I already got some experience in the whole people management area. You don't gotta worry about me. I'll make sure everyone you send here does their job the best they can. So now, what is our next objective here? Oh yeah, talk to Jake. Okay, let's go. So now we're in the real time. I mean the uh, uh, the long time for for the actual um, for the room building. Wow, man, I'm losing my train of thought here. So for all of the the activity in HQ now is going to be slow. It's going to take like a day, and that's because it's meant to allow you to go play the rest of the game. But we're not playing the rest of the game, so I'm going to cheat here. Um, and this is something available to you guys as well. I think this is, every time I watch somebody streaming HQ, I usually go leave a comment on their, on their thing like, hey, cheat, because it's really boring to watch this otherwise. you got to watch me sleep a whole bunch. So I'm going to turn off, uh, or I'm going to do override timers so that all my timers will be quick. That way we can you know, just kind of get on with the show. Um, so we'll go ahead and exit out of that. We got a real headquarters. People know what they're doing. We're on the verge of becoming a true power in the Commonwealth. And the cherry on the cake is that you're the one leading it all. How are you doing with all this? Me? I'm excited. A bit overwhelmed, but mostly hopeful. Hopeful this will help me find my kid. Could you be we have, um, so in all these like long conversations where Jake goes on with a lot of exposition, realize it's not for everybody. So, uh, Sarek has started writing, I think he's done it in his earliest chapter one, but he always has like three versions of it. It's a long version, a short version, and then he has what he calls the effort version, which is if you start answering negative to everything Jake says, then he does like a super abbreviated version where you get none of the background details. You just get like the bare minimum. Like if I say, I don't care. 
in the CK, it's named the effort version uh, <laughs> instead of the shorter, long version. All right, let's hear it. What's on your mind? Well, it all goes back to before Laura was born, before I even met her mother, Caitlin. You see, my hometown, Sanford, it was a bustling trade hub. Whole place was built around a huge purification plant, pre-war but still working. The plant was run by my father. It was the pride and joy of the whole town. Supplied clean drinking water to thousands and made Sanford a wealthy settlement. For a while there, it appeared Sanford would become one of the big players in the region. But another good lasts forever. One day there was an accident at the plant. One of its fusion generators began to overload. If left alone, it would have set off a chain reaction, caused an explosion that would have taken out the whole town and a good chunk of the surrounding area. My dad... Can I ask you something personal? It's all right. I know what you want to ask. How exactly did he die, right? When my dad pulled the malfunctioning core, that didn't stop it from overloading. And there was five more fusion generators in that room. If you wanted to stop an explosive chain reaction, he had to get that faulty core as far away from those generators as he could. And that's precisely what he did. He grabbed that core and ran the hell in the opposite direction. He got it all the way to one of our water tanks before it detonated. He saved a lot of lives that day. Mine included. Sounds like a good man. He was a good man. And a great father. He died a hero. I'll always be proud of him for that. Um, I thought they were going to do the original timer, but they may have not actually started it before I started tinkering with the options. So let's pop over here and unlock this. There we go. Hey, and then we can grab our little note from Jake here. Left the housewarming gift for you. It's my old... Uh, let's see if I can do a Jake voice. It's my old... Re no, I can't do a Jake voice. So I'm not even going to try. I just started to do an accent. like, nope, that's not it. It's my old rebreather from my days working at the purification... We're going to have to get Tom on here. Uh, working at the purification plant. Uh, it'll stop Brad's from getting your lungs. Let you breathe underwater, too. Enjoy. Right now. So we're not going to go Sanctuary just because I'm afraid of, uh, <laughs> of my wiring situation. Let's go to Abernathy and see if we can fix their happiness so we don't lose them. And then we'll bop back over. And we'll go ahead and recruit some people for HQ because we should have two extra living quarter spots now. Um, and then we'll pop back over there and see if, uh, if the light box thing worked. But it's, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff we figured out for this that uh, other mods could easily hey, take advantage Sike. of. Oh, hey. Just checking in, seeing how you're doing. Forgot about this. Also, got a small request to make. If you're up for it. You see, I was perusing through an old file cabinet, and I came across some interesting documents. They talked about some old pre-war relay towers. Seems there's a whole bunch of them throughout the Commonwealth. I tried to connect to a few of them, but looks like over the past two centuries, they've all gone offline. Not surprising, really. Anything I can do to help? It's a safe bet. They're all just sitting idle, waiting to be reactivated. Less strain on the array also frees up resources of workers that we can then assign elsewhere to improve the HQ. All right, so now we can uh, start activating antennas around. I don't know. How, I mean, I guess I can do them. They're not. That's not that big a deal. I probably have spots near most of them, other than the glowing sea. I don't think I've any, been anywhere near there yet. All right, so then let's find who can we sacrifice here to send to HQ. I guess we should bust out the vitamin. Although I'm gonna send sick people and they're gonna bring their <laughs> their diseases with them. That's not ideal. Let's see. And trying to zap some folks and hopefully not kill. Oh, let's do the scan so we don't accidentally kill them if any of them are at low health. Hey, you don't have any ailments. You've got three intel. Well, I don't need any intelligence, so you're useless to me. This person, I think I just saw doing the sickness animation, so. Yeah, we don't need to bring... Let's not bring bone worms to HQ. Thanks, lady. How about you? I thought I hit scan. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay, you've got no no worms. Um, you have terrible stats, but that's okay. We'll take you anyway. All right, so... Hi there. Let's get you Would you be interested in coming to work for me? Send you to GNN. There we go. Oh, you're doing the... That means they work Everything at the okay? CPT Don't thing. Oh, we need the farmer. Teardown expert we could probably take. Way. What do we think? Mars. Except that you're scratching yourself, so... Uh, yeah, chicken... No, we're not bringing chicken pox to HQ. Um, what are you doing, Preston? Are you doing anything useful? What is your job? Unemployed. But he's got chicken pox. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to bring chicken pox I to HQ. I just wanted to talk to you. That's fine. Come work at you HQ. Your stats are insane. For me? 
Come give around your chicken pox. You're not doing anything anyway. Uh, Z Games, can the player catch the diseases? Not currently, but I do have it set up to be possible in the future. I was thinking about adding that as a, uh, a hardcore option. My problem with that, though, is that then that would discourage you from visiting your settlements. So that would like have the opposite of, of uh, a good effect. You're dead. Oh, yeah, and I got to turn off God Mode while the settlers fight. Let's see. Oh, I already did. Okay, cool. Ooh. Well, hope I don't kill Settler there. Oh man, one shot, one kill for those guys. Oh wow, that was a great, great turret moment there. Oh man, that looked like quite the. <laughs> Look at this dude. Yeah. I'm I'm just I'm just visiting. I'm not getting involved with that. Uh, let's see what else. What other garbage do we have? We can get rid of. Sturdy metal light right leg. That sounds useless. Uh, Z Games, if we can ask about the Conqueror bit for Chapter 3, will the factions like the Brotherhood Tower fight for territory as well as you are not part of them, or is it only Gunners and player factions? Fully operational. Um, I'll let, me fin let him finish, and then I'll tell you. Like a few distress signals are being picked up. But what is... I, I don't... Hey, hey Lupe, can you boost this? Sure, can do. Uh, is it now? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't quite know what I'm listening to here, but... I don't know what this is, but some of my strangers nearby you is broadcasting some weird stuff. If you investigate, be careful. One down, five more to go. Good luck. So when, if any of you guys have done this quest and wondered what all that is, that's just flavor. It's just commenting on what all the different radio frequencies you find when you activate these towers do. So if you want to go uh, track them down, it's just flavor to make it feel like, you know, the characters are actually getting the radio signals and like actually connecting to them so that's it doesn't it's not stuff we added it's just representing all the different stuff you can find um, with those uh, the radio signals that become available so I am not going to track them down even though yeah I know there's some cool stuff I could get around here um, and then to answer your question Z games so we are so the hope that is going to be that we get to deliver the system that one of the systems that never got added to conqueror so if you ever if you look at the mod pages whenever i build them i always put a future section where it's like here's all the stuff where we have the kind of foundation for and we want to do some time before like we're done updating the mod and one of the things we missed out on conqueror is an invasion system where factions would take territory and kind of slowly creep uh, into your area and that is something that we didn't get around to in Conqueror and that I hope to have in uh, the sometime in SS2's version of those mechanics um, but it is considered kind of a stretch goal for us because it's not necessary for us to get our story done and uh, it's very very complicated to do but I have the the bones for it and I'm like I'm definitely planting all the seeds in the code for it so that way if if I can get it done I will because I want that feature really bad. I think it would fit great in. Uh, oh, we'll go do this one too. Uh, it would fit great into the into the Sim Settlements gameplay loop. Get back here, you filthy mole rats! Uh, DT, you know what happened? You wouldn't happen to know what forms I need to edit to enable fast travel and survival mode if the player is wearing a type of armor or clothing. Uh, I know, I have no idea. I haven't really looked into much of how Hi, it's Lupe. the survival mode Jacob's stuff works. The Other than the diseases, right I looked into those uh, a lot. But. It looks like you just activated Relay Tower 0SC527. Great job. That's the second tower you've activated, right? Oh, wait. I can hear something. It's... It sounds like a super mutant. And, uh, 
lady talking? Weird. Huh. I didn't think super mutants knew how to use radios. Maybe you should listen in. Might be interesting. Thank you.